I really like the, uh, this destroys this, the item curse system in this game. It's very strange. I've never seen it in another game, but I like it a lot. I'm surprised my bow did, didn't take uh, venomous spores, now that I'm thinking about it. You really would have expected my, my bow to have taken uh, venomous spores to make, but I guess not. I wonder what they're used for. See, so are there iframes on that dodge roll? Yes. They're pretty substantial iframes, too. Um, I was worried about it at first. I, I don't remember if the roll had as good of iframes in the alpha. I guess you could probably go go and check and just see how mad I got at uh, at rolling. Because I'm I'm pretty I'm a pretty good canary when it comes to like weird game design decisions. Because I am the first to whine about it. I don't think I'm gonna change that too much. Did I break you? Yes. Is it worth? Yes. Kind of. I mean, mostly I just throw it in the bargain bin. But I'm going to keep breaking adventures in hope of getting um, more T2 gear. Okay, Forest Dungeon 3. These guys are going to be a little tougher. But if we're lucky, maybe I can get some more of those, like, um, things. Okay, yeah, this is where we're going to be using the bow. More. Way more often. Oh, uh, let's see. These, this isn't worth much. I'm just going to get rid of these at this point. Uh, uh, these two. Yeah, keep an eye out for sparkles. If we can get another one of those... Um, if we can get another one of those uh, super convenient send-everything-home chests. That'll make my life a lot easier. Yeah, I'm digging. I'm digging the poison bow. I, I don't think I go. Uh, I don't think I go elemental effects on any of my other, other weapons. Um, but the, they work real well, with, kind of hit and run tactics. I guess it could work rather well on a on a spear too. Because if I had him on a spear. I could, uh, I could hit and run fairly competently with that as well. Keep offloading these things. Because money is kind of no object, I'm a little bit more interested in progression-ish. I've also got a, uh... Oh. Fine. I've also got the, uh... Ooh, I've only got three potions. That could be a problem. More patterns and secrets. For... Those diving so far as the third floor, have you ever felt overburdened, carrying just too much loot, too much treasure, but you don't want to stop? Okay. Hidden somewhere on the third floor between where you start and where you end, being the boss, look for the sparkle. Okay, so we have, we have a deposit chest somewhere in here. Well, I'm barely taking damage, and we more or less know where to go. So that means somewhere along the path up ahead uh, is going to be a sparkle. Keep an eye out for it. I'll be able to offload all of my crap. And that is going to be incredibly valuable. Okay. These mushrooms are worth nothing. These aren't worth much either. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we've got a couple of deep cursors and some other things. A lot of money too. You know, I don't actually need this ancient wood anymore, so I'm gonna offload that. It's just too bulky. Okay, we don't need the petals. We got this. I... honestly... Oh, the pots... the pots aren't worth as much. So I can convert them up. 
If I remember right, this stuff is worth bad. I think it's used for upgrades, but I'm probably not going to hoard, no hoard enough of them to really justify it. Okay. So that's progression. Actually, we want to we wanna head for progression for a bit. Probably shouldn't, uh, shouldn't just take so much damage. I was hoping I'd kill him a little bit faster. Okay, let's get rid of the Mortar Man. Still no pits. Okay, anything that says sends anything home. Yes. Okay, so let's start by sending that home. Because that won't stack with anything, period. Next up, let's send that home. Because that also won't stack with anything. Okay, I don't have any disenchantments. Which is unfortunate, because I could actually get some of these to stack. A little. No. These aren't going to stack very well to begin with. I just need to switch you there. There we go. Okay, so there's the tree boss. So we're going to have to go back and recheck every pit. But that'll be okay. Alright. Oh, uh, we got a bunch of breakable crap. Um... Well, this can be sold. I'm loath to do this, but I'm probably going to sell these. Uh, let's get rid of that. By the way, I'm looking at it. It looks like um, everything can be sold to the mirror for about a quarter of its full price, give or take. It means I can charge a little bit more for those fruits. Okay, no pit here. Oh, there's one more north of the chest. And this one had... Oh, it had enchanting crystals in it. I do need them, but I can farm them way more easily on other floors. Thank you, AI programming, for being dumb. Okay, so I can decurse something. Uh, let's decurse you. That way this can this can just stack. I can send something home. The book. Okay, what else can I decurse? I can decurse you. Okay, then otherwise we just have mysteries and garbage. Well, let's get rid of this. Probably sell this. At this point, we're running a lot of high profit margin stuff. It'd be a shame to lose any of it. Ah, it got me in the butt. Okay. So, wherever the sparkle is, I actually don't know where it would be. Because I'm just going to go test every pit. There's no pits! Oh, made that one. Yeah, I can't imagine it would be one of the hidden pits. I've got plenty of healing, so I'm not too worried about it. The only thing I'm worried about is if the ghost shows up. There's no freaking pits on this level! No natural pits, anyway. Everything is just covered. Alright, let's try this one. Nope. Huh. There actually might not be a send shit home treasure chest. That's kind of wild. Oh, haven't tried this one. Nope.
The room up top. No. I don't know. I think we might just have gotten jerked around by level gen here. Well, uh, what can I not live without of this entire set? The answer is actually pretty much everything I, c I can live with. Let's switch in some of the high value stuff. Let's see, fertilizer. Sells for a thousand. I can do better than a thousand. Nope, can't. It'll break anything else. Okay, is this good enough? I mean, okay, we could go try the leaf bits. Oh, nope, nope, we don't have time. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna gun for it. I am pretty well equipped here. Suck a duck, ghost. Time for me to fight a boss. Okay, I've never fought this guy before, so this might be a bit tougher. But I do have poison, which might help. I'm just gonna mostly focus on Survivor. So we've got the Carnivorous Mute. Ooh, I really love the animation on this guy. Okay, it looks like it shoots kind of at my current location. Oh. Also has little friends. But if I play like a damn dirty coward... Okay, you can't block those. That sucks. The other thing I can do is if I'm truly in trouble. Oh, boss drops loot. If I'm truly in trouble here, I can just leave. Like that's that's one benefit I haven't really discussed here. But I haven't I haven't really had to dip into my potions yet. That's not gonna hit me. That one is. But that's okay. Yeah, the poison is rocking her. Oh, I got really lucky on that one. Holy shit. The only problem is we're gonna have to deal with the fact that my inventory is gonna be mad full. Uh going into this. <clears throat> That's not going to hit me. That's not going to hit me. And we win. With bow cheese. That worked out so well. Alright, we get another key. Yeah, that stacking poison is pretty awesome. Whomever said um, status effects aren't good, uh, I don't think you were thinking about bosses because, oh man. She could not stand for any of that. All right, time to offload some crap. Um, God, at this point, I might as well just offload pretty much everything, including the pure acid. Okay, that's got to be enough for some of these things. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Time to keep offloading crap. What is this? Eh, seeds. I meant to sell this one, but I guess it didn't work. See, there were more below the boss, it looks like. Good to know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it. I mean, I can probably start getting rid of some of the mystery items, but... Holy crap, I got 25,000 just from selling junk on this. 
Can you expand your inventory? Unfortunately, doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, there's there's more down there. Good. All right, I've pretty much got everything I can. It would be lovely if I could if I could uh, straight up expand my inventory with a second backpack. Unfortunately, I've not seen any kind of indication that that's a mechanic. <laughs> oh, I love that uh, that end of end of run like summary. All right. Got a second key, and now it's time for the old man to say, like, You're going to die, kid. I'm going to scrape you off of a dungeon's floor. Boy, you defeated the Golem King, and now the Forest Guardian. You risk too much. Pushing me to a heart attack is what you're doing. I'm going to die because of you. Your grandfather would be worried sick if he was still around. Worried and unreasonably proud. I can just hear him. Good for you, son. My grandson, a merchant that slays guardians. Can you believe that? Oh, that man, as stressful as you. Hmm. Now, at the request of the town, I am to inform you the desert dungeon is open to all. Fools. We close these dungeons for a reason. Additionally, there should be a new shop expansion on the town board. Oh, no, never mind. That just expands the shop size. I was like, wait, more mechanics? And the answer is no. Hopefully that will keep you busy. Away from further guardians. Huh. Moonlighter is starting to look like its old busy self, though. Wait. Its old busy self was tiny. How does it look like its old self? I've doubled it, tripled its size. Functionally. Okay, it's a little, little less. It's like two and a half times. Or I guess he's probably just talking about how many people are coming and going, give or take. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, let's see. So I've, I don't actually have that much money. Let's go down to this guy. Okay, so... Wait time, speed, hello. Decreases probability of thieves. Well, it's dirt cheap, so let's get one of those. Uh, let's see. Time the shop can be opened. I don't care about delivery dates yet. And I guess I'll just buy that, just to get it out of there. Uh, let's see. So I can afford this now. Town. We can buy the banker, so it's time to get him. I wonder if you can get more of it. No, it doesn't look like you can upgrade them anymore. I still wish this game had gotten deeper with a lot of these mechanics. It's it's very... It's a lot shallower than I wanted it to be. It's beautiful, but it would have been so cool if it had like gotten really far in depth. Okay, so we have carnit carnivorous mute, all sorts of things. Um, hmm. Let's go make an unreasonable amount of money from what we've got sitting around. Let's drop off the, the uniques that I've never seen before. And then what else do we have to sell? I've got some ancient wood, if you know what I mean. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't think I need any more of that, but I'm gonna store it anyway. Definitely, probably don't... No, uh, no, 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 no. I do need more old bulbs. But I only need a couple. I can sell the rest. Uh, let's see, fabric. You know, honestly, uh, I guess this stuff would just go in the bargain bin anyway. Uh, screw it, I don't care. I'm more or less sailing through this game anyway. Who, who cares if I end up uh, chucking a little bit extra into the bargain bin? Uh, let's see, I think the seeds were dropped by the boss, so if you sell them, sell them high. Oh yeah, I know. Let's see, will I be playing any multiplayer tonight? Sadly, no. My friends are away. Uh, or my friends. Bird. Bird's away for the, the evening. So he will not be around. Let's see. These, these have not sold for 3,000. People don't like this price range. can we sell? 
Have I sold ancient wood yet? No. I'm gonna sell them for 2,000. We'll see. While we're here, I mostly just kind of want to get rid of some of the things that are just sitting in my my inventory. Because I'm not going to go back to previous tiers. I'm pretty much satisfied with the sword and the bow. The two of them are, are just too good. So my interest in... Um, in other resource types is like, eh, 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 very low. So I'm probably just gonna bargain bin these things. Speaking of, I'll probably upgrade the extra, the, the bargain bin. Even though like, the amount of stuff that I'm offloading through it is probably going to drop dramatically. Um, the less I have. Let's see. Put that through. Put some more fruit in. Are these maxed out? All of these are maxed out. We have a little bit more logs, and I do have one more seed. Because, yeah, the more of these I can shell out, the better. Okay. What do I have left in this chest? Can't be much. Just some pots. And, oh! One more ancient wood that I can offload. And then other than that, it's it's just pure junk. I was really expecting that I'd need to hoard more of the older resources, but yeah, I guess not. You said I could increase the price of fruit. Yeah. Well, I tried 2,000 with the fruit, so I think I might actually be wrong about that. I might be able to increase it a little bit. It's hard to say. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll try, we'll try a higher price on fruit. Hello, old man. Old man. No, it's... Yeah, it's only the 17th. The next day will be when, uh, when the guy comes by to take in the quest. Right, I should not actually be behind the till. So the um the the bulbs are worth a, a lot more than I I assumed they would be. And this person's looking to do a thievery. No oh, shit, come on. Okay, so the bulbs are worth a lot more than a thousand. Try a thou two thousand. Uh, let's see. Sell that. We know what price that goes for. Pretty much all of these we know the price of. I'll sell the consistent things for a second. Let me see. Bargain bins got random junk. Yeah, this will be fine. Um, buy from me. I feel like the last upgrade for the shop should just be like... Literally a money printer. Nothing more. <laughs> Gives you money. Uh, let's see. Sell that, sell that. We'll just sell the easy things for a bit. I'm kind of lazy right now. I don't know if the the old bulbs can be sold for more, but I'm just, I'm just gonna try it. Two thousand might be okay. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing, Shifty Steve. You're being mad, Shifty. Don't take my good shit though. I mean that definitely qualifies as good shit, but. I've got a, I've got a solid price for it, and I don't have to worry about it. Let's sell it. Dang it. All right, whatever. Last upgrade should get you some employees. Dude, I really wish this game had employees and stuff like that. Like, how rad would it have been if, if it had like a lot of the, the deeper, more interesting mechanics, like employees and management and like marketing to some degree.
I would have loved it. Oh well. Maybe the next shop keeps him. Whenever that happens. Because I know there's going to be... I mean, there's always more. There's, there's never more than, um... You rare, rarely ever have, like, uh, unique games like this. Like, personally, I'm actually really looking forward to whoever, whomever tries to do the, uh, Stardew Valley, uh, formula. I guess Harvest Moon formula again. Kinseed was kind of interesting, but it needed a lot of work. Wait, it does get an employee at the next level. Oh, cool. Holy shit. Yeah, we've burnt through our stock yet again. Well, bargain bin's empty. And all of my other stuff, too. Oh, but he does eat 30% of your gross pay. Oh, that... Well... Let me go look at, at what that would entail. Town. Let's get the banker. Probably can only be made during the day. That sucks. Okay. Uh, it's... I've got... I'm sitting on a lot of money. No. Oh, adds a shop assistant. Extra showcases and more decor space. I could afford the next upgrade with the assistant. Pretty easily. Well, we don't need the upgrade for the bargain bin. But let's, let's get the bigger... Uh, let's get the bigger shop. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, none of this matters. Uh, I'm gonna be switching games here. So, instead, we'll just go take a peek in and then try and remember next time. I hope you like this one. I've put a lot of effort into it. Uh, can I, can I go in? I wonder if I can open the shop at nighttime. Oh, it's nice and big. I'm really just curious about what the um, assistant does. I don't know. I don't know. 